So three things you can do to up the power of your monsters because they're getting slammed by your player characters. And usually for me, it's, it's pretty obvious, the things that you want to do. The first thing I'm always going to say is increase their hit points. So the hit points on the stat block for a monster in Dungeons & Dragons 5e, that's the average hit points for that monster. You're going to max it out, okay? So you multiply the number of hit dice it has by the hit dice that it's supposed to have, and then there's a plus whatever number beside it in brackets, I believe. What you want to do is take that number and add that to the, um, to the, uh, to the, the hit dice that you're dealing with. And that'll give you the maximum hit points for that monster. That's a, one way. Or, or you, can, you don't have to go to max, you can just increase the number of hit points. Another thing that I do, probably the second most common thing that I do, is I will increase the number, uh, um, the amount of damage that a monster does. And you'll find at higher levels that this is more important than at lower level, but certainly I roll a six-sided dice for every attack the monster makes, or monsters make, and I add that six-sided dice result to the average damage for the monster. Now the average damage is the number outside the brackets when you're looking at the damage section. And then the third thing that I tend to do with my monsters is if a monster has a feature that doesn't work very well because the DC is too low, then increase the DC. And the easiest way to figure out if, you, if you've got the right DC is to have a look at the DCs that the player characters are rocking around with. If they tend to have a DC 13, then you probably want the DC uh, to be a DC 13 for your monster. Uh, if you're dealing with characters who have a DC 14 or 15, then you probably want the monster to have a DC 14 or 15. Another way of dealing with that is looking at the quick monster build um, table in the Dungeon Master Guide for 5e. And that will give you a sort of a scale in terms of challenge rating. Challenge rating is not a very good indicator, um, frankly. That's probably the thing that I would do uh, because that's dealing with hit points, that's dealing with damage output, and that's dealing with uh, what sort of saving throws the characters have to make to contend with the monster's um, features. Now, if a monster is so boring and it's got nothing that it's doing that's interesting, then add in the feature and then make sure it's got a saving throw or an attack roll of some kind that's appropriate for what they're dealing with. If the monsters always have lower DCs and lower um, attack bonuses, they probably can't keep up, um, certainly not uh, in the long term.